The 2022 NFL Draft is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Draft must day! Yeah, the sportsocracy is here for all of your picks in the draft. More on that in in just a few moments. But it is time for at ESPN Draft Nerd Jeremy Green's final mock draft for the Tennessee Titans. What did the Tennessee Titans need to do so you can stamp this as an A+. Uh, for me, this is a draft that is very... Uh, Tennessee's probably the most up-in-the-air team I've heard Desmond Ritter. I've heard Travis Jones. I've heard the player I ultimately gave to them. I look at them and go, you need to come away from this with a receiver. I would like for you to come away with a linebacker that pairs with Zach Cunningham. Uh, I, an edge, you know, later later need. Another corner at the risk that Farley is not uh, recovered from last year or that the injury issue comes back up. And another tight end w- would that's never hurt anybody. First pick for the Tennessee Titans at number 26 in the first round. Here's your wide receiver, Sky Moore out of Western Michigan. This is a kid that I have heard tied to the Titans for quite some time. Plays in the slot. He's a smaller player, but he's insanely fast. If you look to when things started going awry for the Titans, it's when you were down to A.J. Brown and Nick Westbrook Aquina. You need that second threat to really allow A.J. Brown to do the things that he's going to do. I don't think there's any risk he's not in Tennessee for the long haul. Nice compliment with Sky Moore. And I I see right tackle here a lot. I know they like Nick Petit Ferrer. People seem to forget that they do have Dylan Redunds, who they took pretty high last year, didn't play as many snaps. I think he slots in on the right side. And you add something to that line maybe the next pick yeah in the third round their only pick on day two of the 2022 nfl draft and we'll stay inside the state here a guy who has uh who showed up to the senior bowl and proved that you know he might have gone to a smaller school but he can hang with the big boys cole strange out of ut chattanooga something people undervalue is how much time and how much easier it is to get guys that are in your local market in the building cole strange is a player from chattanooga obviously close to nashville in that home market Comes in immediately, plays guard, ultimately the replacement to Ben Jones down the line. People shoehorn him into he can only play center. No, he can play all three positions in the interior. I absolutely love this kid with Redunds. Now I'm looking at that line going, yeah, this is pretty damn good. Opens up holes for Derrick Henry. You've got two over-the-top threats. And I'm looking at the offense going, yeah, I I would like a tight end outside of Austin Hooper. But other than that, I, I feel pretty good. Rounds four through six on day three. They have five picks, so they can add more uh, more key players here because this is such a deep draft. Such a deep draft. Picks are on the screen. One of the things that I know is going to come up, but but why do we take a second receiver in the fourth round? Uh, a, because Khalil Shakir is an absolute home run pick right there. Mm-hmm. This is a very multiple offense. They've been tied to him for a long time. Now, is it possible that they go uh, Petit Ferrer or Travis Jones in the first round and Shakir is the, the, the fallback? Uh, possibly. I also think you could play Sky Moore and Shakir together because Sky Moore can play on the outside. Shakir more of a slot. I think he has the ability to do that in spite of the fact that he's smaller. People think every small receiver has to play in the slot. That's not necessarily true. Uh, And and another player in this that I really like the fit, DeMarco Jackson, the linebacker from Appalachian State. To me, he gives you more of a rangy. Him and Zach Cunningham are a little bit of a hat on a hat. But at the same time, they're not, because I think there's more to DeMarco Jackson than we've seen. One of the few linebackers that can come in immediately and play in this style of of defense. I love this kid. Local to this market, seen a lot of him. Really like DeMarco Jackson. This will be our third year covering every pick of the NFL draft, and <laughs> it's been fun. The, the first year was was interesting, doing it from Jeremy's basement. Last year was phenomenal, and this year we're we are only going to be set up for more success. Year one, we had the drunk guy on the couch. Last year, we had <laughs> football Farley's meltdown. Who knows what's going to happen this year? In the description of this video, you'll find the link to all three days' streams. Uh, day one with, with round one tonight rounds two and three tomorrow and all the picks of day three click that notification button you'll see it all we're gonna do instant analysis instant team grades uh we'll tell jokes drink beers this is gonna be just like watching the draft at a bar with your buddies with no risk of the dui subscribe to the channel so you know whenever we go live and uh we always come to you from the ingles studio and that subscription by the way it gets you into the chat and we will be uh we will be heavy leaning on the chat especially in day three when jeremy 
you know, obviously has to go out and smoke a cigarette for 10 minutes and leaves me going, I don't know who these guys are. Uh, but that's when I will, uh, I, I will definitely be leaning on you to help us out in the chat. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We will see you tonight from the Ingles studio. We're always brought to you by Ingles Supermarkets. Low prices, love the savings. I'm Tank Spencer. He's Jeremy Green. Can't wait till tonight.